Hey guys, here at OSNVTXReviews.com. You're watching our video review of the iWear 2. These are the second generation version of the HMD or head mounted display virtual reality video glasses for you to use with your iPod exclusive 30 pin connector or your iPad. Um, Apple base uh, Apple accessories that you can use to watch um, large screen video on the go in private uh, using a larger screen size. These are pretty interesting because we've seen quite a lot of these uh, glasses in the past from the MyView personal video viewers, and this is just the latest generation. It comes in at an 84 inch virtual screen, so it simulates the experience of you sitting down and watching an 84 inch screen um, in front of your eyes, perhaps at two meters away, which is pretty decent. And um, basically, you can play videos from your from your iPod or your iPad, or maybe watch YouTube videos. Videos, and then you'll be able to see that video translated into the screen on the on the glasses and then you can see it in larger more comfortable view and uh, in private sized view there are a few you know positive pros and cons when it comes to purchasing HMDs HMDs in general and one of the positive ones of course you have that comfort you have a larger screen especially if you're in space limited conditions uh, one of the negative of course is that if you want to share video with friends and family you can't uh, using these glasses you have to you know purchase either more glasses or you know uh, view the video using your device itself rather than you know having to wear glasses which can only one, only one person can see the video at a time. Taking a look at the box it's quite small it has you can see some specifications about the uh, the size of the screen um, about how comfortable it is when you're wearing them and also there's some more information about your private theater including it has a pouch a cable a user manual um, and some more information about the glasses 16 by 9 ratio so it has a very wide screen view at the 84 inches um, 84 inches as far as virtual size is concerned it's quite large it's actually trying to one up the size on the eye theater glasses that we just unboxed yesterday so this is something interesting as well it works with all 30 pin ipad iphone or um, ipad accessories. It's pretty much all in terms of the box, so not too much information. And you can see indeed it has this nice carrying pouch included. Uh, it has a nice leather or synthetic leather material to it, and you can take it when you're traveling to protect the glasses inside. Inside, of course, we have the user manual, which is in black and white. It tells you how to utilize this product and the eye patches and carrying cases included in the box. The other side is in Mandarin Chinese, it looks like. And also here we have the 30 pin connector, one which plugs into your iPod device or Apple device. The other side, which is a video port, connects into your glasses for the video to be displayed. We have your eye patches, which allows you to more comfortably view your video in, in private conditions. It also eliminates the light, especially when you're watching video, you want to be in, you know, if you're in a brighter environment, you want to eliminate the light around you, you have to use these eye patches. Um, of course, in here we have the glasses themselves, which have a built-in noise isolating pair of earbuds so you, unfortunately you can't use your own but the positive side is um, you also don't have to bring your own because they are included and that's pretty much all for the box itself so taking a look at how they operate, basically the glasses themselves are quite small and they are tiny in my opinion for something that has an 84 inch virtual screen in them. Most of the other uh, virtual uh, head mounted displays that we've tested with something like an 80 inch screen and above tend to have a, a way thicker design, um, which is something that might be foreshadowing that this device doesn't work as well as those, or perhaps the technology is just really extremely good in this. But that's a little bit du dubious, especially because the iWear 2 only costs $129 online, which is very inexpensive expensive for a pair of head-mounted displays in the first place. So taking a look, this is the place where you plug in the video port and it comes in like, it plugs in like so on one end and then the other end you basically plug into your um, um, Apple device. I'm going to take a um, iPod Touch as an example and uh, basically you can plug in and start playing videos off of that. As you may have noticed, unlike the MyView and some other head-mounted displays, the um, iWear 2 does not have a battery pack, so it drains the battery out of your Apple device. Um, positive side of this, it doesn't take up you know more cords, it's less tangle-free, which it, it's already a huge mess of, a, of cables in the first place, so you don't want another cable going to the battery pack, but the downside is of course it will drain the battery faster on your iPod or on your iPad. It, um, on our iPod in, in particular, watching a video for about two hours, um, the battery kind of died, uh, you know, after we kind of finished around two to three hours of video watching, which it certainly is quite draining, to be honest. Um, these are nose pads in the middle, which are adjustable, which are pretty nice, and the arms themselves feel actually pretty sturdy, and we definitely like the design overall of these pair of glasses. They definitely are clean, they're modern, they're not too uh, they're not too shouty, but they're also kind of uh, nice and sleek as well. The earbuds are also nicely designed. These glasses, by the way, also come in colors of black and white, so if you want to get a different color version, you can also select that online. 
So taking a look at the uh, eye patches, they basically snap on like so. They are just not um, included. They're not pre-installed uh, in the box because it's uh, you can't really close up the um, arms of the glasses when these are open, as you can see here. You have to put it at this angle. And so the other side just plugs in like the, like so. Now the iWear 2 does not support 3D um, video content, unlike some other more higher end uh, video glasses that are released on the market, such as the Sony uh, Cinemizer or the Sony HM, uh, such as the um, Zeiss Cinemizer or the Sony HMZ series. So these are limited to regular 2D vision, which is, um, you know, it's what you expect for, um, of course, a hundred dollar price tag. And of course, the earbuds are pretty comfortable when you start wearing them. Uh, the brightness of these glasses are also non not adjustable, unfortunately. So uh, that's something else to take note of. Overall, the build quality and design again is pretty decent. Um, so let's turn on the iPod and take a look at how this device functions. So of course, you can watch uh, videos by you going to your video player and then uh, making sure that you are selecting TV out mode for the video to actually be supported on the glasses. But the more practical application, in our opinion, is actually utilizing the YouTube um, application because it allows you to watch video online, such as movies or downloaded programs such as Netflix, and then stream that and watch it on your device. You can use that on a plane ride, perhaps at home when you're sleeping at night um, in your bed, and it's pretty comfortable and pretty easy to use. For example, we have a short film called Inbox here, and we press that, it's gonna load the video, and you can see that the glasses will be turned on, and um, you can see that it, the lights are already on. We're gonna turn off the lights in the studio for you to more accurately see. Now, unfortunately, during our testing, we did find the iView, uh, I, the iWear 2 is one of the um, less, you know, less high, not, does not have a very good resolution. It's a less, um, accurate pair of video glasses that we've tested in our, in our labs. It's something that doesn't evoke too much confidence when you're wearing them, is the fact that resolution is kind of low. Um, that's a huge problem, I think, that for most viewers they will experience. It's kind of difficult to capture on camera here, um, but you can see the video is starting to play on screen there. Um, again, this is a problem with reviewing these uh, video glasses, is that they are difficult to see. Um, but you can get a glimpse of how the video is playing. In re real life, unfortunately, the video content is uh, very blurry when we're watching using these videos. It always seemed like the video was out of focus. So that's the downside of using these particular glasses is that they're not as high resolution as even the MyView glasses, which came out again five, uh, five years ago. So that was really disappointing overall. It's something I think with the focus, it might be off. Perhaps it's the, the glasses that we receive, but perhaps it's not. Um, that's just definitely a downside. The comfort level is actually pretty good, but it's just the the video experience is extremely poor. Um, I believe it's something like 2, 240 by 320 in terms of the, the pixel density. And at 40, uh, 84 inches, extremely stretched and not very high resolution at all. Fortunately, the sound quality is pretty good. So overall, we really can't recommend the iWear 2 because of the low video resolution and experience, but um, we would really strongly recommend to look elsewhere for a pair of video HMD glasses just due to the fact that the video performance is so poor. Thanks for watching here at osnvtxreads.com. Thanks for watching this video review of the iWear 2.